Yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo. What's going on? 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 Going on. All right. So, ooh, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Simply, we are gonna talk about runes. Let's talk about runes. Y'all heard about the runes? Y'all heard about is flat stat worth it? Is is percentage stats better? And you know, there's whole. Look, we're gonna put that rune thing to bed. Okay, we're gonna put the rune thing to bed. All right. So let's go. So what I did was this. Ready? Matter of fact, let's go to the tape. Let's cut, cut, cut to the tape. Cut to the tape. Here's the tape, folks. Here's the tape. What is over here so I can see my beautiful face. There you go. All right, here, here we go. Let me break this down to you. This is what I did, right? I took only the five stars in the game. Only the five stars in the game. If I know, if I could find a way how to link this spreadsheet to the end of the page, I'll find out. If not, I'll Discord somebody and they could post it. I don't know. Who can somebody figure it out, right? So this is what I did, right? I took all the five star, right? They had to be awakened and they had to be six star. So all the stats that you've seen is based on just five stars, fully awakened, six star. All right? Base six star. So level one, six star. This is what you're seeing. And if you want to know, matter of fact, let's go to the tape. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's go. Let's, let's get off the tape for a second. Let's get off the tape for a second. Let's get off the tape for a second. All right. So this is how we're doing it. Ready? In case you want to know where we could find the stat at, for those who want to know where I got my stat, at, I want to make sure everybody understands where I'm coming from. Here's the codex. You can click on any single character that you want. You could hit awaken, and you can hit promote. And right here, you're gonna see the stars go to a uh, six star. Right up here, you see their stats. That's the percentage of, I mean, that's their base HP, their base attack. Everybody got that? That's where we're going from, right? Cool. We got that. My mathematics goes like this. Let's go with runes. So when I say we're looking at attack percentage and attack, here we go. This is a maxed out six-star rune. So everything is based on a maxed out six-star rune. We're only concerned with the main stat. We're not concerned about the substat. Only the main stat. Everybody got that? Thumbs up? Cool. Six star max rune. All right. So you can see whether it's six or slot four, the max does not change. It's still 53%. Everybody got that? Got it. Good. Next, we go with HP. Uh, you got an HP rune on you? Let's find out. 12, 12, 14. All right. So I didn't max this one out. I can. But... The reason why I don't even max out because it tells you right here. If you can see it, that a maxed out six star, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, a maxed out six star HP rune percentage is 53%. So we got the numbers. Attack is 53%. Maxed out HP is 53%. Good. Next, we got to figure out what is the maxed out flat stat for an attack rune. I should have really wrote down what unit was your so I ain't gotta go through all this again. Ish, ish. You might have had one on you, right? Nope, nope, nope. Don't come at me for my garbage rooms, okay? I just started six days ago. Just started six days ago. Let me, let me, let me live, okay? Let me live. Vivian, we went back to we went to you, right? And you had a what? What, what you had on you? You had that, you had that, you had that. All right, so it wasn't Vivian. You know what? Let's see what you got. Oh, you ain't got nothing. I'm going to show you some love one day, girl. I'm going to show you some love one day. But she just be in a battle just waving like, just, just waving like she had a Miss America pageant. I'm like, it annoys me. She just, everything is going around and she just waving. Hey, guys, hey. It just annoys me. That's why I ain't showing no love. It just annoys me, man. No. Is it you, Nevis? Nevis. No. Ooh, ooh. Well, you know what? It just says I ain't got that no here. All right. 
Is it <sighs> Annette? I don't think Annette got it. I don't think Annette got it. No. But yeah, we can work with this. Ready? So as you can see, this is a six star rune, right? When you do the upgrade, we know that a maxed out flat stat attack rune, maxed out attack rune is 260. You're seeing this for yourself. I don't want to just throw numbers out there. Yeah, I think I just pulled numbers out of the air. This is you seeing it for yourself. So a maxed out six star rune flat attack is 260. That's what you get. All right, now we got to figure out the uh, maxed out. I know the fact, I know these things, but I want you to see for yourself, okay? I want you to see for yourself so you don't think I'm just out here just screwing the numbers, all right? What you got, girl? What you got? You got defense, crit rate, attack. You can see my, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you. What you got? Nope, 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 nope. I know it's in the slot four, and I'm trying to see who has the slot four. Who has the slot four I'm looking for? It's not you. Lilia, did you have it? Did I put it on you when I shouldn't have? No. I actually gave you some love, Lilith. I don't even use you, and I said I gave you some love. You owe me a kidney. I work for kidneys, in case anybody don't know. These room packs don't buy themselves, so kidneys are always welcome. Uh, it's not you. Gotta be there. Speed. Here we go. So a maxed out six star, you count them stars again, one, two, three, four, five, six. A maxed out six star rune gives you 777 HP. Everybody got it? We good? We go back to the tape? Can we go back to the tape? Let's go back to the tape. So here's the tape. So here's their base stat. Here's their attack, okay? Now, here's the formula. Here's the formula. We're going to click on it so you can see the formula. All we're doing is taking right here. Here's the formula. All we're doing is taking B2, you can see it, and we're adding 77 points. That's to the flat attack. We do that for every single person. And as you can see, oh, there we go. Get out of that. Get out of it. Get out of it. There we go. So when it, And then for this one, I'm going to show you what I did so I could show my work. You know what I'm saying? In case for some of y'all who like to sh see people do their work, unhide. Here's this right here. So this formula is simple. We're going to take two, which is the base HP, right? We're going to multiply it by 53%. I mean, 0.53, because 0.53 is 53%. Everybody went third grade? Everybody graduated from the third grade? You're now a fourth grade scholar. Let's keep it going. So automatically, it just tells you what is 53% of this right here. Once we do that, we go over here. We take that 53% that's here and add it to the original. And that's what gives you the percentage of what you're going to get. Everybody got it? Let's take that out because we don't need to see that. All right. That's just the behind the scene work. Got it. So as you can see, based on these stats right here, uh, Hildegard base HP, if you do a flat maxed out stat rune, you will have 3,048 HP. Not, not the sub stat, just the, the main stat. We're just working on the main stat. Compared to if you gave her a percentage maxed out rune or him a percentage maxed out rune, you would have 3,474 HP. So you can see that you're going to be up roughly over 400 HP just by doing that. Now let's go to the attack. His base attack is 641. If you go with a flat stat, max you'll be at 901 but if you go with a percentage of that stat you'll be at 980 everybody got that so we're going to put this whole rune thing to bed of what rune should we use now not the bed you're thinking because we have to now we see this this is the base stat that's the base stat we got it you know gandhi loves you yeah you know what i'm saying mother Teresa sell white bread 
we we understand this. But does it really matter? And the answer is no, it really don't. And I'm gonna tell you why it doesn't really matter. No game, no. If you have a rune, and this is where substat come into place, right? If you have a rune like this 77, right? And my accuracy is 20, and I need my unit to actually perform well when it comes to accuracy. I'm taking a flat stat rune with 20% accuracy versus a percentage rune that has no accuracy for a hero that I need, right? So you got to use some kind of leeway when it comes to things. Is the 400 drop worth me uh, performing my um, accuracy on the unit? You know what I'm saying? Because if my unit, if my hero is going to cause their whole team to be slow, I will take a hit on HP any day in order to ensure that I effectively land that. I'm talking about, you know, the units say that crit rate is needed. Like for every time they crit, certain things take place, right? I'm going with the rune that give me the highest crit rate so I can get to 100% crit rate. Same thing with accuracy and stuff like that. As you can see with Thea, I wanted to ensure that she could land her um, her poison toxic. Toxic. So here's her stat. She's only at 63% uh accuracy if i would have got a percentage based rune that didn't give me that 20 i'd be at 40 percent accuracy and i'm not landing nothing and then she's not as valuable so the main stat only tells part of the story but i need to let you know that yes main stat versus flat stat you're going to get more with your percentage you know what i'm saying uh flat stat versus percentage stat you want to get more with percentage but does that tell the whole story because at the end of the day if I roll 30 speed on a flat stat rune, that rune is taking priority. I don't care what it the rune, I don't care what kind of rune it is, it's taking priority. So with that being said, everybody has any questions, comment, or concern, put it in the comment section. And the society and the community will talk about it. We will discuss it in there. I will try my best to link this spreadsheet. That way, if somebody want to add to it and do the Nat 4s and then pass it on to somebody else who want to do the Nat 3 and then pass it on to somebody else who want to do the Nat 2 and pass it on, so on and so forth, you know what I'm saying? By all means, it's out there. I put it out there if I know how. I ain't the greatest computer illiterate guy. I used to be. And then I got old, got kids, and then I started looking at paint, you know, drying on walls until somebody told me, hey, have you ever tried playing mobile games? And I was like... But paint drying on wall is so interesting. Like, there was no RNG in paint drying on wall. I knew eventually it was going to do it. So, I guess the RNG was the time. But it was still exciting. But I discovered mobile games, and here I am now. Got it? Cool. All right. So, we're going to keep that short, simple, and sweet. Secondly, what we're going to discuss today is... Uh, don't be afraid being a new person to just go out there even if you don't have any units to just go out there and just do a dungeon it costs you nothing whatsoever there's not a video game machine we got to put a quarter in every single time right so if you don't do nothing nothing happens if you do something even if it's i give me give you a good example let me give you a good example yay i got guilt yeah look at that Look at that, Das Void taking on a guild that's like two times, three times bigger than us. And look what we did. I don't know what we did. All right, cool. So here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Don't think that you need valuable units to actually do this. Just run it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, whatever you get is what you get. Now, if you are going to do this, only attack monsters. Don't use no support. Don't use don't use anything that is not attacking. If it can't attack, don't put it in there. Just 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 food for thought. If it can't attack, don't put it in there. At least on your first run. I'm hesitant about putting this guy in here. I'm hesitant. Okay, how about I take you out? Put you in. I like her. I like my snipers. I like the slowness. And the reason why you want to do this is because you don't want the less the less turns your units take. Do I have anybody that has a leader? You have a leader? No, nope, no leader skill. No leader skill. No leader skill. 
All right, so your first run should be nothing but attackers, okay? Nothing but attackers. Look, look, she, she, she waving. Look at her just waving. Stop waving. Ugh, it annoys me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their thing that they do. I got it. But she's just a waving machine. See, by using just attacker. See? Stupid Lilia didn't attack nothing. Cost me three turns. <sighs> wipe it out. Come on. One wipe and I could do... No, people. But the more let the the quicker you destroy these units, see, you don't want them to move. You don't want them to move because them moving don't take away your turn, but them moving take them out of area of effect ranges. See, uh, like that was an epic fair right there. So I think uh, it was Spaceball. Check out Spaceball video that says the less units you use, the better. So using three units in your first. First go around is a lot more efficient than trying to use a whole team because then the whole team will have to take turns. Look at her. Look at her just waving. Stop waving. And then you got Morgan with her Miss America beauty uh, scepter. Like, I want to tell the whole world. Look, the whole world. You guys have supported me throughout my journey. And she's just waving. She's just freaking waving. Y'all don't get annoyed by this. Y'all don't. Y'all actually like this. This is a fail. Let me tell you why this is a fail. One, I didn't read a dungeon to realize this was all water unit. And I bought all fire unit to a water. You know what I'm saying? I literally bought a knife to a gunfight. Stop bringing knives to gunfights, people. It does not work. I had units that could have did this a lot better. Stop bringing knives to gunfight. I'm supposed to be at level 30 right now. So I fail miserably. Damn, I fail miserably. Yeah, please pay attention to the dungeon. I did this on purpose. In case you're wondering, don't comment me in this section. I did this on purpose to show you the value of looking at the dungeon you go into. This is not any other game where you could just randomly put powerful units in a dungeon and because they're nat 5 and you skilled them up and you gave them great runes that they're going to do automatically great things. No. Elements matter. And this is the important lesson that I had to show you on my behalf and sacrifice. Just die. Don't worry about that. I come. I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna do round two on camera. Eh, whatever. I used to get to write round thirty real easy. Everything is a sell. Everything is a sell. I became rune. Um, rune bougie now. As you can see, a lot of my runes has been. Um, my heroes has been have runes on them. So therefore, I don't sit there and take petty runes no more. Like I did in the very beginning. Um, Nat 5 Flex. Let me show you what Nat Flex. We're going to do Nat 5 Flex. Nat 5 Flex. Nat 5 Flex. Codex. Ugh. So I got one. Nah, I didn't mean to click on you. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I also have two dupes. I have one extra uh, Lilith and one extra Hatoru. So I'm doing good. And for that reason, I don't want to summon because I don't want y'all to get into that. Look, y'all got to get all that summoning habit, man. Y'all need to get all that summoning habit. I promise you, kick it. The quicker you kick the summoning habit, the better your life will be. Kick the summoning habit. So with that being said, let's do some summons after I clear some space. So the only hero that I'm actually looking forward to now is I know. Good. The only hero that I'm looking forward to now is actually um what's her name? 
Nope, not her. Vanessa LD. You're not an LDR. That's, that's the one I want. Raja. I want Raja. And the reason I want Raja is this skill damage in, uh, increase. No, 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 no. Is this make sure? No. No. Raja, you're not the one? No. I'm just saying, I don't want no Raja. Is it Prey? Uh, there's one that increased the uh, increased the buffs on you. What was the one that increased the buffs on me? That's the one I want. I know, I know. My girl's telling me I'm blind. I wear glasses, but not on camera because it messes up my eyes. Summertime. Ooh, let's go with a spirit stone. I got two of those. You know what? I have not gotten a nat five on here. I have not gotten a nat five from spirit stone. I got two stone. One of them better be a nat five, damn it. One of them better be a nat five. Arthur, you suck. You suck too. And none of y'all are new. All right, Water Legend. Let's see what I get. Ah, oh, four star. Oh, Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh. I think I got Gilgamesh about to be skilled up. This is where I get all my nap files, folks. The secret to my success is the advance. Not today. Yeah, you are sorry. All right. That was almost my summoning. I didn't want to do this. Y'all forced me to. Here we go. If you see a dwarf, you're not getting no nat fives. Well, if you see a unit that you haven't gotten before, I realize that if you see a, a unit that's kind of newish at the very beginning, is a good indication like this right here. Him just showing that it's going to be a nat four. Minotaur. Anytime I see Minotaur, I ain't never got a nat five after seeing Minotaur. Uh. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to build him. He's in the, uh, y'all seen him. Y'all fought against him, and he's very vicious. So he's definitely getting built. And I ended with you last time, and I ended with you. Oh, if I have one more summon, which they want me to do, I get a, I get a five. Darn it. You got to kick the habit, y'all. You got to kick the habit. You got to kick the habit. I have the... I want to skill up my Nat 5s. Heroes. I want to skill up my Nat 5s. I have enough in here to do two Nat 5s. I just need Nat fours to bring them up and I do feed now fours don't 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 at me one two three four five that's one one two three four nope uh one two three four five one two three yeah Yeah, it's slow on um blue stack for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. All right, we're gonna end the video here. I got thirteen nat five. Let's go ahead and make it fourteen because I can, and my luck is so impressive. 
I am guaranteed a nat 5 because I say so. Give me my nat 5. Galahad. Uh, are you a, are you luck? Oh, no. No nat 5. See? There's a whole bunch of VP. So what's the night four going to be, y'all? Let's say this. Uh, you know what? No. No. I said I want a nat five. Give me a nat five. No, I said a nat five. Satophon. I, I did feed one of her. And that was it. Get off the screen. Penelope. Nobody's new. All right, cool. So thank you for watching the video. Um, It's just time for me to build my units now and do great and wonderful things with them. So uh, look forward to, I need to find me a nice boss uh, team so we can all clear uh the Rune Dungeon fast. So if you got a suggestion, leave it in my comment section of teams that you, you think is good enough to clear the Rune Dungeon fast. And if it works, I'll put a video out on it. Um, until then, make sure that you do your altar, uh, your altar rim, y'all. Make sure you do your altar rim and get them, um, them runes. Anya say, yo, enjoy.